Are you looking for a good way to store that overabundance of apples you got over the season or bought on sale at the grocery store? Today on Feral Forest Folk, we're going to show you how to dehydrate apples and store them in mason jars. So let's get into it. Here's what you're gonna need. A bowl full of cold water, and we added about two tablespoons of lemon juice to this. The lemon juice prevents the apples from rusting or turning brown. We need some fresh apples. And this device helps us peel and slice them at the same time. It makes helical slices of even thickness so they all dehydrate at the same speed. So this is a great tool. We'll post links for all this stuff below. After a few short minutes, you'll have a nice pile of compost for your chickens and a bunch of apples that are ready to be broken up. So I like to break these up into even chips, about yay big, and let them evenly soak in here for just a few minutes before we take them over to be dehydrated. All right, so we're just about ready here. You wanna make sure that all of your apple bits get pretty well covered in the lemon juice solution. Some of them might not, and they might turn a little brown, but that's not a big deal. They're still fine. I'm snapping these a little further because so they take up less space in both the storage jars and in our dehydrator. So that looks pretty good. So we'll let oops, we'll let these sit for a little bit and uh, maybe 10 minutes, and then we'll take them over to the dehydrator. So after a few minutes in the lemon juice, you want to start stacking these inside of your dehydrator. Just about any dehydrator will work as long as it reaches 135 degrees. You can use just about any dehydrator you want. There are better ones. They're really expensive, nice ones out there, but there's also uh, economy versions is what we have. Uh, in a pinch, you can also use your oven to dehydrate them as well. If you want, you can add spices like cinnamon or anything else that you want for flavoring on top of your apple chips to add like a little bit of zest to them. So Jason, how long do dehydrated apples last? Uh, roughly six months, maybe a little longer if uh, set properly. You can put oxygen absorbers in bags or in mason jars with them. They'll, they'll keep for quite a while, but six months is about the sweet spot. What are the best apples to dehydrate? Um, in our experience, Cortland's, Macintosh, and Granny Smith. Can you over dehydrate apples? Uh, not in my experience. <laughs> you can, um, you want to dehydrate them until they have a nice crisp snap to them anyway. If they're soft, they need to go back in and go in for a few more hours maybe. Also, uh, humidity and temperature is going to play a lot into this. We prefer to do this during the winter because it's drier from the wood stove and uh, that helps with the humidity. During the summer, it takes a lot longer because there's more moisture in the air. While you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're adequately spacing these out so air can travel between the racks as well. Good airflow is going to reduce your drying time considerably, but usually we can get an entire dehydrator done in about 12 to 14 hours. So additionally, these make great snacks for packing or car rides, anything like that. Uh, it's also a great activity for kids. Um, my son appreciates being able to do something in the kitchen and being productive like this. Plus it gives him a sense of accomplishment and making his own snacks. When you're all set, put the cover on. Plug it in, fire it up. And we'll come back in about 12 to 14 hours to check on them. All right, we let this one get away from us and it went about 24 hours, but we have that perfect, nice, crisp pop to them. They're perfectly dry. Um, when you're done with your cycle, uh, your dehydration cycle, they're gonna seem a little soft at first, but if you let them sit for about an hour, they'll set right up and you'll get that nice, crisp pop on them. And uh, about eight apples is just about filled, loosely filled this uh, large mason jar here. So 
Just fill this up, throw an oxygen absorber in it and call it good to go. And my helper here is gonna throw a bunch in for me, right? If you enjoyed this video, we would so appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribed. You can also find links to the equipment we used in the description below. Thanks so much for stopping by and stay feral.